Hello students, in this video, I will give the introduction to three-dimensional geometry. You already studied two-dimensional coordinate geometry in previous class and also you studied circles, straight line, etc. in two-dimensional geometry. Now, to introduce three-dimensional geometry, here we are going to study the coordinate axis and coordinate planes in three-dimensional space. Consider three planes, one is horizontal plane like this and uh, other two planes, one vertical plane like this and the third plane like this. Now we have three planes which are mutually perpendicular to each other like this. These are the three planes and uh, one plane is perpendicular to the second plane and second one is perpendicular to third plane and the third one is perpendicular to the first plane. They are mutually perpendicular to each other like this. Now, these planes intersect along a line called x o x dash and this is one line of intersection of two plane. It is the line of intersection of the plane that is horizontal plane and a vertical plane. And uh, similarly, the line of intersection of the horizontal plane and uh, another vertical plane that is y o y dash and uh, the line of intersection of two vertical planes along z o z dash we have three lines obtained by the intersection of these three mutually perpendicular planes and these three lines are mutually perpendicular to each other and you can observe this line that is uh, the line x o x dash and y o y dash are perpendicular to each other while drawing these three lines we will draw it like this and these two lines are perpendicular to each other even we can observe that while drawing it seems to be the angle is more than 90 degree but actually we are drawing the three dimensional picture on a plane that's why it seems to be more than 90 degree and actually the lines will be like this and the one line is perpendicular to the other the angle between x o x dash and y o y dash is 90 degree but uh, if we take the side view it seems to be angle is more than 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree and similarly the angle y dash o x is also 90 degree this angle is also 90 degree and angle between x o z and y o z is also 90 degree and this is y o z and this angle is 90 degree and similarly you can observe this angle this is x o z this angle is also 90 degree and they are mutually perpendicular line like this Now these three planes can be represented in terms of the lines that is we have the plane and uh, one is the uh, horizontal plane this is obtained by these two lines that is uh, one line x o x dash and another line y o y dash and uh, that's why this plane is called x o y plane or x y plane the horizontal plane is called x y plane and we have the two other planes and two vertical planes and this plane is called this is obtained by these these two lines this plane is obtained by these two lines and that is uh, y o y dash and z o z dash and that's why this is called y o z plane and the third plane is called x o z plane this is obtained by these two lines that is x o x dash and z o z dash this plane is called as z o x plane or z x plane thus we have the three planes x y plane y z plane and z x plane now the point of intersection of these three lines is called as origin this point is called as origin now let us take the points on the coordinate axis that is x axis y axis and z axis first let us take the points on the 
x and y axis and which is similar to the coordinate plane in two dimension let us take the two axis and uh, let us take like this x axis and y axis like this and these are the two lines x axis and y axis this is x axis and y axis you know how to take the coordinates of the point on these two lines and this point is 2 comma 0 this point is 4 comma 0 thus if you take a point on the x axis right side of origin is called positive and uh, if the point is in the left side we take it as negative similarly if you take the point above this we will take positive and below this origin we take it as negative in the y axis now if you take the point in the z axis and if the point is above this origin upward we take it as positive and downward we take it as negative now these coordinate planes if that is xy plane yz plane and zx plane will divide the space into eight equal parts which are called as octant and let us observe the octant and we name it as first octant second octant and so on eighth octant because there are eight equal parts and they are called octants and uh, how to name the octants and you know how to name the quadrant that is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant that is if the coordinate axis are like this x axis and y axis are like this and you know how to take the coordinate of a point in various quadrant if this is the first quadrant this is second quadrant and this is third quadrant and this portion is fourth quadrant and now here we will have the eight equal parts and there are four parts upward and four parts downwards and the first four parts are called first four octants and next four parts are called the next octant that is fifth sixth and seventh and eighth octant and the first four octants are like this and if you take uh, the coordinate axis like this and this portion is called as first octant and uh, next to this that is called as second octant and you can observe if you take the point in the first octant for example if i take the point here and uh, you can observe the coordinates of this point and uh, if the point is here and we will have the x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate corresponding to this point and uh, first you have to draw a foot of perpendicular and it will meet somewhere here and uh, you can get the x coordinate and y coordinate for this point in two dimension and that is the x coordinate and y coordinate of the point in a space if the point is at a distance of z unit from this horizontal plane and then x comma y comma z is the coordinate of this point and thus if the point is in first octant you will have the x coordinate and y coordinate z coordinate all the three are positive because if the point is in the first quadrant you know that x coordinate and y coordinate both are positive if the point is here then z coordinate is also positive you can observe the position of the point and uh, if the point is in first octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive and z coordinate is also positive and if the point is in second octant like this and uh, I'll take a point somewhere here and you can observe x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive here the red line represent x axis and x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive and if the point is below then z coordinate is negative if the point is in second octant then z coordinate is positive thus you can observe that there are four octant that is first second third and fourth octant and in first second third and fourth octant in first four octants z coordinate is always positive and x and y coordinates sign will be similar to the x and y coordinates in first second third and fourth quadrant similarly for fifth sixth seventh and eighth octant z coordinate is negative and we will have the y and z coordinate of the point is 0 thus if you take any point on the x axis 
y coordinate is 0 and z coordinate is 0 and x coordinate may be some x and if the point is on y axis x and z coordinate are 0 and uh, y coordinate may be some y and if the point is on z axis then x and y coordinate are 0 and z coordinate will take some z and the coordinate of the origin is 0 comma 0 comma 0 thus we will have the coordinate of a point anywhere in a space with the reference to this coordinate planes with this much i will conclude this video and let us study other part in the next video thank you